No, we moved back to Kingsley in 61 because we had the opportunity to buy the business and thought it would be a good place to raise the kids. And had a lot of good days and bad days down there. And it's uh, great to meet people and we made more friends than we did money. But it was, you had people like, well, Bruce the barber, he had just graduated from high school and he needed to work to pay for his college. And so I had him down there, he was washing a car one day and his friend Tommy Trannon snuck in the back door and picked up the hose and squirted him. Bruce had that big sponge in his hand and he just turned around and threw it at Tommy. But it seems like it went out through the window instead of <laughs> at Tommy and Bruce just couldn't understand how that would go through the window. But, uh, things like that went. Some of them weren't quite that calm. Like we had one lady, who I'm not going to mention, that came driving in one day and she took the center pump right out of the there and of course that set it on fire when the, it was a lot of excitement around there for that, but uh, it worked out all right. Like I say, we made a lot of, a lot of friends and it uh, was there, what, 34 years. It went, had a little trouble getting started because he couldn't borrow the money and DX financed it finally. So being they was financing it, we had to operate the way they said. And we ran it from seven in the morning until nine at night, seven days a week. There was five stations in town at the time. So, but it, we gradually got it worked around to where we alternated and stuff on Sundays. At, uh, I don't know, just the uh, Dale Murray took hold of the tank wagon there. Frank Harvey from Pearson supplied our gas. The, he passed away. At, uh, Dale Murray took over that. And we operated with Dale for a good number of years. Yeah, it, uh, but, it, I don't know, it, uh, like she said, she looked up a lot of the guys that had worked for us. It was quite a few different ones, but, and all pretty good people. It, uh, It, uh, when we first started, I can't remember exactly what gas was, but I'm thinking it was like 30 cents a gallon. <laughs> and we got 50 cents for a tire repair, and that was the old tires that had tubes in them too, and go on. It, uh, we was down at the community center one day when Max McConnell was celebrating his 50th year and Betty Ledgerwood came up to me and she said, do you remember me? And I said, well, I really should. Well, she said, I'm that girl that always came in and bought a quarter's worth of gas. Yeah, that uh, 
the prices on stuff like that when we first was in there was really down there. Yeah. It, uh, but like I say, it is a good town to raise a family in, which we raised six of them, got them all educated, and so I guess that's what more can you ask for? Mention that Corky was with me first. That uh, what? Mention Corky. Oh, well, yeah, my younger brother Corky was with me when we started. And he passed away in 73. And then I ran it with the hired help from then on. At, uh, We just rented the building property when we first started, but it, uh, then later on we DX offered us a good deal on buying it. As a matter of fact, they actually paid us to take it. And later on we figured out why. Because of the underground tanks, you know, the cleanup, and so forth that you had to go through, yeah, which was kind of made you want to pull your hair out, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> so it, but it all worked out, and we had a good life out of it.